G'day people, I'm at Monstad. Welcome back to this Minecraft vanilla survival playthrough. Um, yeah, you can see I've got a new bow. Whee! Duck! <laughs> yeah, I went fishing and got some nice stuff. Let me show you. So off camera I did a little bit of work, as you need to do with Minecraft. It's, it's lots of... Um, building and stuff that you've you've got to do that you can't do everything on camera unfortunately um, otherwise you'd be recording for days and days so what i did is i've built myself a little afk fishing farm you know i'm always in two minds about whether to build these or not because you do tend to get a lot of stuff from these so you know they can be considered a little bit overpowered um i didn't build it on camera because there are a ton and tons of videos of showing people how to build these AFK fish farms. This is probably the simplest one I've seen um, with regards to the design and the way it works. Very, very simple hopper going into the chest there. Up here, you have tripwire hooks and a piece of string going across that. Bit of water just there being held up by an iron door and this is one I can't work out. <laughs> I, I, I'm a bit of a dummy when it comes to redstone, I've got to admit. Uh, I've got a basic understanding of it, but when it comes to the ins and outs, the intricacies, and the real, real technical knowledge, I am a bit of a duffer, I have to say. This is a note block, and without this note block, and I tested this, this thing will not work. And I have no idea why it needs a note block to make it work. Um, I'm sure somebody can explain that to me, but I have not got an idea at all as to why um so yeah so there it is do i have a fishing rod Ooh, yes i do i got some great fishing rods and i've managed to get one here that has mending on it which is absolutely essential for an afk fish farm because otherwise you fit your fishing rod will break very fairly quickly so you right click it and hold your right click when you fish Oh, hang on, got to get it just right. Why isn't that working? Have I just disturbed something up there? There you go. You've got to get in the right spot. So you keep holding right click. It triggers the system when the, the, the uh, float goes into the water. When you catch a fish, which it will do any moment now. Hey, that was good timing. Because you're holding right click, it automatically brings a fish in the fish or whatever it is you've caught bangs against this this step here falls off the fishing line falls down through the hopper and you collect it in the in the chest and because you're pressing right click you automatically cast again why did i do that that's what i do i just caught salmon i have a ton of fish an absolute ton and you know you, you by pressing f11 and right click combination mumbo jumbo is it mumbo jumbo no it's um exuma void does a really good video on how to actually get the afk to work with the right click and the f11 uh, very simple system incredibly effective and i'll show you some of the stuff that i have managed to get from that Whee! um i think it's all in here tons of saddles yet yeah, some charted books um I had mending, a mending book, which is what I put onto the fishing rod. Loads of fishing rods. None of these had mending on, unfortunately. Um, but I'll, I'll combine some of these and get some of these enchantments onto here. I got some bows. There was a bow there with mending. Have I got mending? I'm going to combine those two and get mending on this bow. I'd rather not have a bow with punch. I don't like punch because it, it, everything flies back out of your way and it's difficult to get. So power three unbreaking. Yeah, I could combine those things. Yeah, but I, I just don't like punch. I need to get rid of the, the punch on this bow. Yeah, I'll, I mean, I'll trash all these boots. I just wanted to show you the sort of thing I got. Six name tabs now, which is great. Four saddles with all the horses around here. That is really useful. Um, food, where did I put all the food? Oh, yeah, I've got a lot of food, um, including a lot of cooked food. <laughs> 
And you'll notice a lot of cooked steak and chicken there as well. I killed a load of chicken so I can make some arrows for the bow. Um, and I also started slaughtering the cows so because one of the things I want to do today, and I decided to make turn our little camp area into an enchanting area. It seemed like a a pretty good place for to put it temporary until we get the you know the first few buildings up in the town and we can dedicate a a, a building to the enchantment and potion making etc. Seemed like a good spot. Um, already lit up, already set out. So I've just pl put some placeholders as to where we need to put the stuff. Um, and I think I'm a couple of bookshelves short at the moment. I'm just going to go put this fishing rod back down here where it belongs. Boom. Um, what I do need to do is build a building around this and make it nice. Uh, when I was AFK fishing, what I did is just built a wall around it to protect myself from mobs when it became night. But um, I'll build a nice like kind of fishing hut with a little pier going out there where you can actually stand and do some proper fishing if you wish to. Or you can go indoors and AFK fish as well. But, it'll, you know, a nice little fishing hut down there. That should look nice. And if it gets in the way of the other stuff we're going to build around here, we can always move it. It's it's a simple build. So I built myself an anvil, anvil because I needed to get that mending onto that fishing rod. Wrong one. Did a bit more mining. Got lots more iron. Um, I've just about run out of diamonds now. In fact, I have run out of diamonds, which is a bit of a pain. I went through a few diamond tools doing a load of digging, which I'll show you in a bit. So, yeah, 26, I need four more bookshelves. So, about 12 pieces of leather I need for that because you need three books per bookshelf. So, I still need another eight pieces of leather and then I can finish the stuff for the enchanting room, which I think we'll go and do now and kill some cows. <laughs> Yeah, oh yeah, Ooh, to you as well. You can hear me coming, can't you? Okay, let's, let's just grab all of that. So what I'll do is I'll feed the adult cows first. I'll, I'll talk about this little build here in a moment. So i just feed all these. This is the usual way I do it with culling the cows, is I'll feed all the adults first. I'll wait till all the, all the baby cows have grown up. When I think I've got plenty of cows left to make lots and lots and lots of babies, feed all the adults. I think I've got all of them now. And then, when they've bred, go around and kill all the adults. Being careful not to kill the babies. That's why I use an axe to kill them, because with a sword, it sweeps, and you end up killing other things and killing little baby cows. Especially when you have lots of things mixed together in a farm like I do. It doesn't take long. The reason I'm jumping, if you didn't know, if, if you jump and hit something, you get a like a critical strike on it, if you time it right. That's where those little stars are. When I'm hitting it, like I missed that one, so there were no stars. Last one. Is it last one? Yeah. So how much leather did I get? 18. Perfect. Shut the eggs. Right, I'm going to build a oh, um, an automated cow farm over there. That's why that's there. Well, let's just put this back in here. Do you know what? I need some shears because I need some... One thing I don't have is carpet, but I'll get that on the way back. First thing I want to do is get this enchanting area completed. Is it nearly dark? Nearly. I think we've got time to make the books. Whee! Pick the wrong chest. Okay, let's just grab everything out that we need. I do want a chest as well. Let's make it a double chest. Boom. In fact, make it indoors. It's just getting dark. Yeah, let's sleep. 
We don't get any any grizzlies spawning. So let's finish what we need for our enchanting. I'm just turning all these into books because I want books for trading with the villagers as well, and I also want some extra books for enchantments. So where's my wood? There it is. Boom. So we only want four bookshelves. 30 bookshelves, good. Okay, so we've got our enchantment table, our bookshelves. It sticks out of the way. Chests, spare books. Okay. Cool beans. We should be good to go. I've come the long way around. Whee! Okay, let's get our enchant table down first. Bam. Okay. Why didn't I get an achievement for that? Or do you get an achievement when you make it? I can't remember. Okay. So with enchanting, if you didn't know, um, you get a bonus for bookshelves around the enchantment table. That are within a couple of squares, diagonally as well, but there can be. Oh, did I miscount? I've got two left. I missed the corner. I missed the corner. There we go. Um, yeah, but there has to be an air gap between the enchant table and, and the bookshelves. So you can only go as high as two. It's not really, it's not effective after that. So I'm just curious. I really need fortune on something. All right, I'm not going to enchant just now. I just wanted to get that ready for now. Um, I've got another little bit of building to do, but yep, yeah, that's one huge task completed. As you can see, I've got 47 levels, and, and a lot of those levels after about level 30 were gained through the AFK fishing. So that's another really, really good reason to do that, the gaining levels. So the, there really is no downside to doing an AFK fishery. Um, the, well, I say no downside. The only downside is the that ethical aspect as to whether you think it's an overpowered system or not. Um, if you can get past that little issue, got enough coal in there, yeah. Um, then, you know, you're good to go. There's no reason why you shouldn't make one. All right, some shears, because I want to grab a bit of carpet. Boom. Let's just put all this stuff away. Oh, I didn't put my chest down. Let's go and do that now. Wait. So it's okay to have something on the floor here. So I could put these chests into the floor anywhere around here and it wouldn't affect the enchantment. But if I put them like here against these bookshelves, it would negate one, two, at least three of those those bookshelves from working. So let's just pop them just here for now. Okay, good. Okay, onwards and upwards. So one of the other things I want to get done today um, is to build a an automatic um, cow farm. Now I'm not going to be using a lava system or a cooking system um, deliberately because I don't I don't want to cook the the meat necessarily with the cows. I might change that at some point with the cows. Um, but I'm also going to be making one for the pigs as well. It will be, that will be probably over this side. 
That one definitely won't cook the pig meat because I need the pig meat for trading with one of the villagers because there's a butcher villager and the butcher villager does trade pig meat so I definitely don't want that cooked it needs to be raw but let me just carpet carpet what was carpet again what am I going mad oh is that all it was okay should be plenty let's just pop that in there okay I'll go down here and I'll show you what I've done down here um, because the entrance to the cow farm is in here as well so all of you that told me light levels are the issue with my crops popping out. Yep, you're absolutely right. Um, I went and got some glowstone and fixed that. And it's been perfectly fine since then. Yeah. Uh, and as I was editing the video, I, I sort of suspected that's what, that's what it might have been. Um, I just never come across the issue before. I don't often do farms underground. But I'll tell you what we might as well do. Give this a whirl. There it goes. So that's it on. Turn it off. When I turn it on next, it will suck the water back in. But I do need to give it a chance to get everything down to the hoppers. I mean, you lose a few things along the edge, but relative to the amount you capture, it's, you know, meaningless. So there we go. That shuts the whole thing off. And I say the reason it's semi-automated is because you ha you do have to go around and replant. Um, and I don't think anyone's come up with a system to auto-plant in Minecraft. Um, I used to do it in Creativeverse. You can do it in there. But you, you can't auto-plant. Where is my water stream gone? On that side. Oh, I must have dropped some gravel at some point. I wonder how long that's been like that then. Oh, and how am I going to get out? Get out this way. Yeah, when I was digging over there, there was a load of gravel, so I must have missed one and it dropped down. A bit careless. Right, I'm going to plant that later. I'm not going to do that now. But it only takes a, a little while. I mean, I guess you could save, you know, for the time it takes you to harvest these manually. Is it worth building something like this? Mm, maybe, maybe not. But you, you, one thing you need to bear in mind, this could be as long as you wanted it to be. I mean, I've, I've built one of these. It's went on for about 10 farms. And when you've got that many, yes, it's worth it. Because at the time it takes you to, to go around and harvest, you know, run across and harvest everything, it just saves so much time just by pushing one button and letting it all flow down. But yeah, I mean, it's extendable if we needed to. But at the moment, you know, it's it's producing enough stuff for my particular needs. So well, there's a lot of seeds actually left, and carrots left out. Oh, no, it's because I ran down to get that water source, wasn't it, before they'd gone through to the hopper. OK, gotcha. Right, I'll just dump that stuff in there for now because I'll need to go and replant a lot of that. Okay, so what have I got? I've got a number of items here to complete this farm. And this is going to be the entrance into the farm. So, what have we got? We've got. I'm going to have to remove that bit of glass and that so I can get in. Okay. Let's start off with... Where's my other chest? Uh, should be two chests. In fact, you know what? One chest is going to be fine for this. Yeah. One will be fine. So it's a very simple build, this is. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Again, use no redstone at all in this one. So it's a string of hoppers. I mean, the, 
it's a little bit costly on iron. Um, that's all I can say. But apart from that, you know, it's it's not too bad at all. So let's replace those. I have to move those. In fact, we don't need the torches. Uh, surplus to requirement. Next thing, stick some carpet on top of these. That just prevents the cows slipping down a touch and not being caught by the water that will be above them, which will become apparent in a moment. So, uh, oh, that's not going to work with the carpet there because I need signs there. Yeah. No, forget that. Okay. So these signs here are to hold up water. Okay. And I'm going to have to build from the inside soon. So we'll have a row of water here. And there'll be a load of trapdoors up there. And I guess I could put those in right now, couldn't I? Since I can reach. So water. Get two for the cows. And it will become apparent why we have trapdoors in a little while. And those trapdoors remain open permanently. So I need to get myself up there and I can put the water in. First of all, let me just seal off this little beauty so the water doesn't come piling out. There. So we can see what we're doing. Don't need those anymore. I would be doing it at night, wouldn't I? As long as nothing spawns in here, we should be okay. No, good. Oh, good jump. Okay, I'm going to have to go down, back a couple of times for the water. Because I don't want running water in this one. This is just going to be a solid stream of water. Am I going to be able to get to it? I'm not, am I? Oh. Bear with me a moment. This is the awkward bit, trying to get the stuff in there. Because you can't put the water in until you've sealed the the glass bit below. And you can't put the water in from this high. So what I need to do is make sure none of these animals get in here whilst I do that. So I should be able to reach it now. There you go. Get away, piggies! I can't put my block down. <laughs> Annoying pigs. Okay. 
That's got it. Perfect. Might as well fill my bucket up again while I'm at it. Huh, huh. Oops. Let's just replace that. Cool. So where are we at now? We. So what we have is the hoppers, an air gap, then water, then these trap doors. So what will happen is the adult cows will stand on the trap doors because it makes that block less than one wide. An adult cow won't fall down it. It'll just, you know, walk along as if that's a full block. But a baby cow will actually fall down that gap. So the baby cow falls down the gap onto the hoppers and it's perfectly safe until it becomes an adult. Once it becomes an adult, it drowns in the water and then the drops from it when it dies go into the hoppers and end up in the chest. So all I do is come up here, feed them every now and then. The baby cows drop down. When they become adults, they coof it and give us our stuff. Give us their stuff, should say. Our stuff. Their stuff, which becomes our stuff. And that's how it works. It's fairly straightforward. Now all I need to do is get some cows in there. Without getting all the other animals in there. Which... I hadn't really thought about, to tell you the truth. However, I don't want to get any cows in there until they become adults. Um, so yeah, I'm going to have to wait till these grow up. So when they grow up, I'll just put a couple of blocks here, use some grain, coax all... Well, not all of them, because I do want some cows around in the farm still every now and then that I'll continue breeding. But I'll, I'll have a number of cows in here. I'll probably start off with just four. And just keep breeding these up. And then the babies will fall down, turn to adults, and give us all their stuff. And that's how it works. Very, very simple to make. Very straightforward. Um, and easy to use. And I'll do the same with the pig one over here. Um, but what I could do is you could change the water to lava. Um, the only danger with that is the baby cows may die as they fall through the lava. If they don't, then they'll grow up, die, and the meat will be cooked. But I'm not really particularly bothered about having their meat cooked when we collect it. It's more the leather that I'm after than anything else. Um, just there. So let's just leave all that stuff in there. I need that down back downstairs, don't I? And that goes there. We're all tickety boo. Cool. Um, I started playing around with some decoration down here because it was looking a bit ugly. And I think I've worked something out for it now. And it's this kind of design here. So this rib will go across. I've only done this side at the moment. I, I sort of started with a design over here with this. But yeah, it was very plain and boring. So I've sort of decided on this design. Um, it may have been better if I used the smooth granite behind there rather than the screw smooth um diorite it would have given it a bit more color maybe i might try that or maybe just do alternative ones with the granite so yeah this ribbing will go across each of these areas here as you can see the roof i'm going to make a stone um with interspersed with this glowstone over here i didn't want to use too much glowstone it was going to be too much so i thought i'd use torches torch sconces in the areas that are set back here. I think it looks all right. Yeah. So I need to do the same on the other side. Can finish off the roof with the, and these are just um, stone slabs. So I've cooked up the cobble to proper stone and then turned those into slabs. And that's what these are here. They're just the stone slabs, which I think have a really nice texture, nicer than the actual stone itself. Um, the floor, I haven't decided upon yet. I don't really want it to be wood because it's underground. Um, I don't think wood would really work in here. And also down this end bit here, I, I want to do something that, that sort of draws the eye down to the central bit where the ladder is. So yeah, 
but it, it's getting on its way and I've replaced the, the cobble slabs with the, the nice stone slabs over this end. But I think it's working. Just need to sort out something for the floor. Um, I'll have to think about that one. And if you've got any ideas, please let me know. And then back here, I'll probably sort some kind of storage system out. I, these chests are just temporary there. Um, yeah, a little bit of storage system, both for the area down there and for the, the cow farm here. And then the pig farm built over the other end, we should be able to get an access area for it down this end somewhere which we should be able to blend into the wall quite nicely so yeah it's coming together, the farm side of it's coming together we're just about at that point now where we can really start building the town and hello go away you're not coming out raining. That means everything's still going to be around from last night, isn't it? Apparently you can catch around 40% more fish when it's raining, when you're fishing. I don't think a lot of people know that. Cool. Um, so, we've got our enchanting area done. I've been chopping down and replacing the wood over here. That's working nicely. Now, to start off the town, I had an idea. Um, I, I, I recall a video from Avermance a while ago that he had... and he had created uh, an iron farm that also... see, they went punch two, just knocks them for six, and they go flying. Where did that spider go? He's in there now. Um, yeah, he he created an iron farm, but the difference with this iron farm, it, it also combined an iron farm with a village breeder and a very basic zombie XP farm, and I really liked it, and I think it would suit the centre of the village quite well um, for a couple of reasons. One is that I wanted a quite quite a large round building in the middle that had um wings going off it from each side all four all four sides there'll be a wing coming off so that'll be like the central town building but having the central town building the central circular bit of that building made up of the villager breeder and the iron farm i think would work really well because it's about the right sort of size i had in mind that you need to build this thing and the right kind of shape that you could circularize it without any real detriment to the actual building itself um, and it becomes the center of the village because you, you sort of do, well I mean I'll explain the iron farm when we make it but um, that actually in essence becomes the center of the village anyway and needs to be to be able to create the golems to get your iron so I think that would work really well and I was thinking of doing it down here somewhere but it would take a bit of landscaping because it needs to be a fairly flat area which um, no, it's not a big deal. I think we're far enough away from that village for it to work. It needs to be, I think, 65 blocks away from any village or any other villagers. The only issue we've got, of course, is getting the villagers in there in the first place. Now, originally I was thinking of capturing, capturing some zombie villagers and curing them, which I think is still think is a really good idea, but it, it can take a lot of time and and a huge amount of effort to be able to do that. I mean, I have done it in the past. It's a fairly simple thing to do once you know how to do it, but it can be very time consuming to be able to get it done. Um, yeah. And I've started villages like that in the past from nothing and, and had a very, very populous village at the end of it. But because we have that village that's relatively close, actually, what we could do is gather enough resources for minecart system over to the there's a lake by the side of the village so over to the lake and then we can boat a couple of villages over to the to a minecart and then transport them to the iron farm stroke village breeder here so as well as getting the iron we would be breeding lots and lots of villages for our town as well 
So that will kill those two birds with one stone. And then to combine it with a basic zombie XP farm as well, it would be ideal because it's just another source of stuff to trade with the clerics, the zombie flesh, and also XP. So all in all, I think that is a really good way to go for us. And I'll put a bit of thought into that and start gathering some resources. There's not a huge amount of resources in involved in it. It's mostly just going to be cobblestone initially until I build the outer shell, which should be nice decorative wood and stone structure. But the basic interior will just be hidden and that will be mainly, co mainly cobblestone. So, and we've got plenty of that from our mine down below. So yeah, so I think that's about it, really. Um, so we've got our enchanting, got the anvil. I showed you the AFK fishing system. We've finished our cow farm over here, or automated cow farm. And let me just see if there's more than one adult cow now. Yeah, it looks like they're all grown up. So let's get a couple of cows in and then we'll call it an episode. Let's get this thing finished properly. Let me get some wheat. And a bit of dirt. Now the problem with this is going to be some of the other animals will probably climb up into here, which, you know, I guess can't really be helped. We'll just have to dispose of those. However, we can, maybe with a bow. So I'm trying to coax these. Might be worth shutting. No. Okay, we got one in. There's three. One more will be nice, and then I can probably call it there. Four will be enough, I think, to start. I prefer more. Let's see if I can push you in. Can I push you in? Go on. Your buddy's nearly in. Whee! There's another one. There's another. You know what? Let's try and get them all in. And if you feel like you need to breed more cows in there, you can just go in and shut the trap doors. That will stop the, the babies falling down, and then you can just let them grow into adults. Go on, get in. Yay! Is that all of them? There's two over there. Do you know what? Let's get them all in. I can always get some more cows, I think, from the area. I think there was some more over towards the village. Come on, up you get. Up you get. Up you come. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. One final one. You're going to be the awkward one, aren't you? There we go. Right, let's read some of those. all of them yeah I think so so what we do to coax the young ones down through the water down down to the bottom we just do this now we'll start walking this way because once the, the baby cows sort of straighten up parallel to the two sides they're more likely to fall down and when we're happy we've got them all falling through we'll go down and check in a minute I think we've probably got them. <laughs> now that was careless. Am I going to be able to get out? 
Okay, welcome back. Um, oh. There, fixed. Yeah. <laughs> of course, don't fall in. That's never helpful. So yeah, so there's the baby cows down there. They're perfectly safe below the water, but once they get to an adult cow, their heads will be in the water and they'll drown. And then all this stuff will come into here. Bob's your uncle. Manage your aunt. It's all good. So there we go. Okay, I'll call it there. Um, thank you for watching. Hope you found that useful. If you did, please press the thumbs up button and please consider subscribing for more episodes. And I will see you all later.